Hi, thanks for joining me for today's devotion. Proverbs 5, 21 to 23. For your ways are in full view of the Lord, and he examines all your paths. The evil deeds of the wicked ensnare them. The cords of their sins hold them fast. For lack of discipline they will die, led astray by their own great folly. We all know sin is a bad thing, but these verses remind us of something else about sin. Sin is foolish. Think of Adam and Eve's first sin. They thought, let's eat the fruit God told us not to eat. Why? Well, at the time, they say things that sound wise. They say it's pleasing to the eye. It's desirable for gaining wisdom. But as soon as they ate the fruit, they knew how foolish they had been. Sin is foolishness. Isn't that the same for you and me? Think of a sin you've committed. Can you think of one? A time when you broke God's commandment and ask yourself, was it wise to do that? Was it smart? Maybe it seemed like a good idea at the time, but sin is foolishness. It's really a scary thought. If sin is foolishness, then you can't outsmart it because you can't argue with a fool. You'll never get anywhere. They don't even know how to argue. That's your sinful nature and mind. It's a fool and we can't think our way past it. Worse yet, since we are foolish sinners, we often struggle even to see our own sins. We're too foolish. So we have this deadly force at work in us that wants to drag us away from God, the sinful nature, but we can't see it because we're too foolish. But God sees. Our verse from Proverbs says, your ways are in full view of the Lord and he examines all your paths. So what does God do with the sin he sees in us? He does something that seems foolish to us. He becomes a human being and he dies. It seems foolish to a sinner. It doesn't seem like that's something we need and it doesn't seem like it helps us, but God has taught us foolish sinners the truth. By his death on the cross, Jesus has conquered the sin of every person who has ever lived. My fellow sinners, Jesus has taken our sin away. He's revealed this to us in his word. From, from infancy, you have known the holy scriptures, which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus, the Apostle Paul writes. What wonderful news. We who are by nature sinful fools are now wise for salvation. We are new people, wise people, who can see the foolishness of our sin and the wisdom of God's saving plan. So as new people in Jesus, full of his wisdom. Look at the things in your life with the new eyes he's given you. Look at your sin the way he does, it's foolishness. Look at the cross with the new eyes he's given you. The wisdom of God is what you're looking at. And since all of humankind's ways are foolish, let God the Holy Spirit lead and guide you today and always in God's ways, the way of the cross, the way of wisdom. See you next time.